Chang Yong Jin didn't know he was gay. For over 30 years, he never once heard the word homosexual. In his native North Korea, it simply didn't exist. He was trapped in a marriage his parents had arranged. From the first day of my marriage, he says, there was trouble. I kept wondering what love was and felt sorry for my wife. I felt so guilty, like I'd ruined her life. Zhang wrote a book about his experiences, handwritten as he doesn't know how to type or use a computer. He says he saw several doctors in North Korea to find out what was wrong with him, adding he had to run out of one clinic when the doctor shouted at him for revealing his feelings. He says he knows he wasn't alone. When I was in the military, he says, there was a senior who had the same problem as me after he got married. He used to come and see me. Plus, there was a man in my hometown who never got married and lived alone all his life. North Korean society treated these people as abnormal. He says that he knows now he was in love with a childhood friend. He says they often held hands and shared a bed even as adults. Not unusual in a country, he says, where few know what homosexuality is. One day, he tells me, this friend comes to see me. That night, I left my wife's bed and got into his. My heart was beating so fast as he slept, and I couldn't figure out why I felt so hurt by him. I got up, went outside, and saw a wild goose flying over my head. I knew then I had to leave. After failing to reach South Korea via China, Chang says he made the unusual and dangerous decision to cross the DMZ, the mine-ridden demilitarized zone, a route only a handful of defectors have ever managed. He first read about homosexuality in a magazine in South Korea in 1998. At the age of 37, he finally knew why he felt different. He felt he had an identity and was free. But it's still not easy. Jang has no family here. They're all in the north. He has few friends and says he feels like a double alien, being a defector and gay. But he is an optimist, telling me life begins at 60, and with his freedom and his writing, he knows he'll survive. Paula Hancocks, CNN Seoul.